What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're gonna edit Meeps for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna edit Meeps. But before we start, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, in the last video, we added this delete function that allows us to delete Meeps. In this video, we're gonna add something that allows us to edit Meeps. Now, this is a little controversial. You know, maybe you want people to be able to edit your Twitter clone Meeps. Maybe you don't. Does Twitter actually allow you to edit tweets? They did for a while, then they didn't. I don't remember. You can go look it up if you want, but I'll show you how to do it either way. You could decide whether you want to do it or not. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and then get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over to our urls.py file. And the first thing we want to do is create a URL that allows us to edit our Meeps. So I'm just gonna copy this last one here and paste it in again. And instead of delete Meep, let's call this edit Meep. We definitely wanna pass in the primary key right here because we need to know which Meep to edit, right? So, okay. And then for the views, let's call this edit Meep. And for the name, let's also call this edit Meep. All right, this is good to go. Now let's head over to reviews.py file. And I'm just gonna come down here to the bottom somewhere. And let's define our edit meep. We wanna pass in the request as always, and also that primary key. And then I'm gonna come up here to this delete meep function that we did in the last video. And I'm just gonna copy the whole thing and paste it in here. Cause a lot of this we're gonna to need to do the exact same thing. So, and that needs to be tabbed over. So, all right, the first thing we need to do is make sure that the user is authenticated. They have to be logged in in order to delete a meep. And then we need to find out what meep we're dealing with. So we're gonna take this primary key that got passed in here and use it to look up the meep and then assign it to this variable. Once we have that, we need to make sure that the person that's logged in is the owner of the meep. So we did this in the last video right here, request.user.username, if that equals meep.user.username, that means the person owns that meep. So we don't wanna delete this meep, so let's get rid of that. And we don't need that. So one other thing, we need to make sure the user's logged in. If they're not, let's redirect them to the home page. There we go. And then post a little message that says, please log in to continue. So, okay. So they're logged in. They're the right person. They own the Meep. Now, what do we want them to do? Well, let's come up here and let's find a redirect thing. There we go. That has an actual page that it's redirecting to. So let's copy this and come back down here. And so inside of here, if the person owns the Meep, let's redirect them somewhere. Where do we wanna send them? Well, let's send them to edit underscore Meep. And we'll create this page in just a second. And we're gonna to want to pass in a form that we'll deal with in just a minute. And we're gonna also wanna pass in maybe this Meep. Yeah, let's do it just for fun. All right, so we'll pass in the meep as meep. So, okay, now we need this edit meep page. So let's go ahead and save this view and head up to our templates, right click, create a new file, file save as, and let's call this edit underscore meep.html. And I'm going to find our show meep HTML page, and I'm just gonna copy everything in here and then paste it in. So, okay, for now, that'll be good. We'll just save that. And uh, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. So, all right, what else do we need? Well, if we head over to the website and we go to our profile, here's the Meep, right? And we can delete it or show it. If we show it, it goes to this page where it shows the Meep. Now, next to here, we want another little icon that is like an edit icon. So let's do that real quick. So let's go to our profile.html, there it is. And scroll down here till we find I'm just gonna search for trash because I know the trash can is that icon. There it is right there. And I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. And maybe we'll put some spaces between the trash can and the edit icon. So we wanna send this to not delete Meep, but instead edit Meep. We definitely wanna pass the Meep ID. And we don't wanna use a trash can. Let's use the 
edit, F-A dash edit icon. And I think that will work. You could look up in Font Awesome to find the edit icon that you want, but I'm just gonna type in edit and hopefully that's the one. <laughs> so let's come back over here and hit reload. And you gotta be logged in. So uh, let's log in here. All right. So, okay, then we got this little edit icon that looks nice. So this one says, this is my first web page posted in Meep. Let's click on this and, oh, we haven't defined form yet. So we need to go back and do that. So let's head back over to review. And remember when we sent the request to this edit meep.html page, we passed in this form thing and the meep. So we need to define that form because we wanna throw up a page with a form on it that has the information of the meep in it that we can then edit, right? So, all right, let's do that. And let's see, let's head up to the home page view at the very top here, because here we have this form already. Remember our meep form way back from the beginning of the course. If we look in our forms.py file, we have this meep form right here, and it has the body of the meep, and that's pretty much it, <laughs> all right? So we can use that form in our edit page. So I'm just gonna grab this, and I'm gonna copy all of this stuff because we're pretty much gonna need all of it. So I'm just gonna copy this, Control C to copy it, head back down to the bottom here, and let's paste all this in. So we've got our form, and we're gonna use our meet form, and we've got this request.post or none. Now we also need to pass in an instance here because when we go to this page, we want the form to show up, but inside of the form, we want the meep text already to be there so that we can edit it. We don't have to retype it in. And to do that, we can just set the instance equal to our meep, which we've looked up right here, right? So that will pass that into the form and show it onto the screen. So, okay, now we're gonna say, if you go to this page, you're doing one of two things. You're either viewing the page or you're updating the meep. You've already, filled out the form to edit it, and then you click the button to post it. So if we're posting, we need to do something. So here, if request.method equals post, first we check to see that the form is valid, then we save the form, set the user to the correct user, because we need to save that, because our user model and our meet model are two separate things, and we need to associate those, and then we just save it, and then message.success, your meep has been, let's say instead updated, right? And we're good to go. And actually, let's copy this and bring this up here to the top. So we want to make sure the person owns the thing. I should have pasted that below there. And then let's tab in all of this stuff. All right, so here we need an else statement. So if we're not posting here, else we're just going to the page. So let me copy this, get rid of that. That should go here, there we go. Else, this over, we want to just show the form, right? So, okay, that looks good. And get rid of this guy. I don't know what he's doing there. This is what happens when you copy and paste. It's all kinds of messed up. So, okay, so if, the person doesn't own the meep right here, then this else statement here, let me get rid of some of these lines here, will throw up a little message that says, hey, you don't own that meep and redirect to the home page, right? Right here, this if statement, hey, if you're, they're not even authenticated, if they're not logged in, then you see this line comes down and then this else statement gets, th gets run and it says, hey, please log in and it redirects home. So, all right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, we still need to do some work on the edit meep page, but let's go back to the website just to make sure this is working. And let's click on this. And this is, and this meep says, this is my first web page posted meep. If we click the edit link, uh-oh, meep reference before assignment. All right, so something's gone wonky here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and move this guy. Yeah, this needs to be outside of this. So that got messed up when we copied and pasted just now. And let's put a little comment here that says, grab the meep. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. So now let's head back. That should work. Let's hit reload. All right. So let's go back again. This is my first web page posted meep. We click the edit button. Boom. This is my first web page posted meep. And now maybe you want this up here. Maybe you don't. And we're getting this guy here. We're going to need to fiddle with this. 
But you can see this is my first web page hosted Meep is in here. What did we paste in the edit Meep thing? So if we come down here, we've got this form already. So here, what we did was we copied from Show Meep, and at the bottom of Show Meep, it has this thing there. All right, so that's where that came from. So here, let's get rid of this call class right here. I want to put this directly underneath. And we can then get rid of this div. Let's save this, come back over here, it reload. All right, so that's probably what we want. And we might want it inside this div. So let's see, let's copy this div here and bring it down there. All right, so that should look better, reload. All right, so, okay, looking good here. We've got the meep. Maybe you want the meep on the page, maybe you don't, uh, but I kind of like it there, so we're just gonna have it. And then here, is the actual meep and it says post meep. Let's change that. Let's go down to the button. Instead of having it say post meep, let's say edit meep. There we go. And you'll notice this is just an if statement saying, hey, if there is a form, then we want a form method equals post. We need a CSRF token, to make sure hackers can't hijack the form. And then we just want to show form.asp. And this form right here, that's coming from our view when we came down here and we passed the form in right there which is of course this form right here that has our instance of the meep in it. All right, so, okay, let's hit reload. Now it says edit meep. I'm gonna stick a two here with a bunch of exclamation points and let's click edit meep. Your meep has been updated and we can see right here. Well, let's go back to our profile page. It says, this is my first web page meep. And there's a two with a bunch of exclamation points. It looks like it worked. Now we can, Click this again and get rid of these twos, right? Edit the meep, go back to our profile. This is my first web page posted meep. The twos are gone and we're good to go. So this is a bunch of code and it doesn't quite fit very well on this page. So check the pinned comment section below. You can get a link to the GitHub repository that has all this code if you wanna look at it, you know, in smaller font on all on your screen if you're kind of confused by all of this because the font is big, you can take a look at it there. But yeah, pretty simple. First, we just grab the meep from our primary key there. We just take that meep and pass it into the form through the instance, and then put the form on the screen down here, like we always would. And that's pretty much all there is to it. We've got some form stuff here to save the form after it's been posted, and pretty easy. So like I said, I don't know if you want to allow people to be able to edit their meeps or not. If you do, this is how you do it. If you don't, just leave this part off. <laughs> totally up to you, but fun either way. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.